And finally, from Skywalker to Channel Swimmer, Daisy Ridley, best known for starring in the latest Star Wars trilogy, is portraying the so-called Queen of the Waves in her latest movie. She's playing Trudy Edderly, who in 1926 became the first woman, woman to swim the English Channel. Almost a century later, the actor said it's strange so few people know her story. <sighs> wow. You know what's crazy? That we are in a time where the women empowerment movement in the era of girl bosses is at an all-time high. And don't get me wrong, it's not like those aspects of our society are a bad thing like some people think. And in reality, especially after watching this movie, it is a movement and aspect of our society that should keep pushing the boundaries of just basic respect and equality. And while yes, it is relatively obvious that in most cultures, we have made dramatic strides in that fight over the last 100 years in which this movie takes place. The point of the matter is that because we live in this time, in this era of Hollywood entertainment, you would think that a movie such as Young Woman in the Sea, a biodoc produced by Disney, one of the pioneer studios in the entertainment world when it comes to creating the idea and tragically inserting now what I believe to be a Hollywood trope of the fictional, stoic, badass, I don't need no man, quote unquote, girl boss, a hellish overcorrection and dramatized versions of badass female characters throughout Hollywood history that they're apparently paying tribute to and taking homages from. You would just think that that studio, again in this time, would promote, market, and now it is my turn to be overdramatic, but pretty much beg the audience to see Young Woman in the Sea, a biodoc following the life? No, actually that doesn't even do her enough justice. A biodoc following the incredible, and unfortunately not as known as she might seem, Trudy Ederly. One of the most accomplished, determined, confident, defining, and influential women of all time. A movie that had me gripped from scene to scene as I was watching this woman, who I was for the first time just finding out about all of her incredible feats as I was watching them all play out. And my god, was it absolutely galvanizing and inspirational to watch. I mean, this movie hasn't really even been talked about a lot on social media or even this platform when this is truly such an engaging ass life story. It's criminal how little attention this movie has received in a society that should be pushing these type of women into the mainstream instead of fictional ass girl boss characters like race swapped Velma, destroy the patriarchy She-Hulk, or just the generic, stoic, and emotionless hero. Man, it is actually frustrating in a way. And while I could just glaze the absolute menace that Trudy Ederly was for the entirety of this video, I do have to talk about the actual movie, which in reality isn't a bad thing seeing how the glaze will just be continuing from the source material to the actual production. I mentioned before, rather it's because I lack the IQ and self-identify as a bloke, or because of the educational system, society, or ESPN, also owned by Disney by the way, failed me in my lack of women's sports knowledge. But as someone who does know an aggressive amount of sports knowledge, not only due to my own passions, but because of the people I surround myself with, I had no idea who Trudy Ederly even was, let alone her massive feats and accomplishments, not only on an individual status, but again, the women empowerment movement in the world of sports. And while I believe that unfortunately I'm in the majority when it comes to that lack of knowledge of who Trudy Ederly was, it helps me to say with a little less shame that I was mostly interested, well, not even mostly, I was solely interested in the movie simply based on the casting choice alone of Daisy Ridley, also known as Rey Skywalker. Now no, I'm not going to get into any Star Wars rants and just start yapping here, but there's absolutely no denying that since starring in the infamously divisive sequel trilogy, that her, uh, lack of work has been relatively noticeable. Or maybe not noticeable, depending on how you look at it. The point is, she hasn't been in shit. Or at least anything of social or entertainment relevance since that major career molding role. And while I'm not saying Young Woman in the Sea is that movie to break her out of that movie role sunken place that she finds herself in, I guess it is easy for me to say that I was more than just curious to see if it was more the fault of her own capabilities, presence, and talent, or more of the direction that she was just led down in her earlier career. Without all of the context and nuance of it all, of course we'll never actually know, 
but at least I can share my opinion on her performance now and the movie overall. So with all of that glazing out of the way, let's finally talk. Okay, don't stress. This is going to be relatively quick seeing how biopics and or sports documentaries are pretty self-explanatory, especially in the sense that we're mostly just following the accomplishments and feats of another person. In this case, the epic and overwhelmingly inspirational journey of Trudy Ederly back in the 1910s and 20s, who became the first woman to swim across the English Channel, a no-nonsense body of water spanning 21 miles between France and England, in which only two men have crossed at the time, with a stretch of the channel called the Shallows that have already taken the lives of many others that have attempted it. You watch as Trudy fights the many obstacles that have been placed against her, either by society or the health and medicine of the time, but nevertheless, you as an audience member watches as she overcomes ailments such as the measles to societal norms and the segregation of the time surrounding not only women swimming, but women's sports overall as she racks up many accomplishments and feats from localized awards in her late teens to the biggest stage in the world at the Olympics, surrounded by a family-oriented environment and with a coach that pushed her limits, the story concludes with, well, one of the greatest accomplishments in sports history. Obviously, there is no mistaking at this point that I thought this movie was absolutely incredible. Don't get me wrong, as a sports fan, I do have some bias towards the inspirational and most importantly, competitive entertainment, and that is exactly what stood out for me, not only from the real life story, but to Daisy Ridley's performance of the character herself. The competitive drive and dedication not only to herself, but to her craft was definitely surprising coming from Daisy Ridley, and when it came to Trudy Ederly, the barriers that she knew that she would be breaking, not only in an individual stance like with her battle with the measles or with her father's doubt, but what her goal and the achievement of that goal would mean for society, women's sports, and just women overall, is an extremely high risk, high reward in a sense of the overall picture, but that is exactly what it means to be competitive. And at the end of the day, if you're not willing to risk it all as an athlete in regards to your goals, dreams, and aspirations, then what are you really doing? I guess in order to answer some of my own speculations when it came to Daisy Ridley and her capabilities as an actress, I was blown away by, I wouldn't say the performance necessarily, but just the sheer grit and grind of it all when it came to the role. As someone who went and watched many behind the scenes videos of the making of this movie in order to grasp a bigger picture, Daisy Ridley's commitment to the craft was nothing less than impressive when it came to this role. And with the added cinematography and engaging musical score, it's easy to say that Young Woman in the Sea was a fantastic watch and a movie that for some reason wasn't promoted or marketed by the very industry that actively promotes dog shit on a screen and then calls you an ist or a phobe if we as the audience don't enjoy the dramatized and Hollywood versions of girl bosses that they've been shoving down our throats the past half decade. It's sickening and absolutely criminal. And if you haven't seen this movie, it's on Disney Plus, which I doubt anyone actually has anymore. But still, the more you know. So in a ranking tier list that is still a name in progress, it is easy for me to say that Young Woman in the Sea was an actual movie. But more unexpectedly, I would say that a movie that leans way more on the side of cinema than an A for effort type of film, a truly gripping and inspirational movie surrounding the accomplishments and feats of an incredible woman in our history. Nah, actually, fuck it. I'm moving this up to cinema. Shout out Trudy Ederly, an absolute legend. Of course, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, and if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I'll leave a link to my Twitter and letterbox in the description just in case you guys want to go check that out. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you did enjoy, why not click on more while you're at it? Otherwise, that is all the words I got for you today.